Well, Dr. Stan here at the Genesis Communication Network, coming to you from the hills overlooking beautiful and picturesque Monterey Bay and, and bringing you the news behind the news, the story behind the story, hoping to convince you that reality is usually scoffed at, that illusion is usually king. But in the battle for the survival of the Christian and Western civilization, it's going to be reality, not illusion or delusion, that's going to determine what the future will bring. And you must understand the views expressed here are not necessarily those of the owners, management, staff, sponsors, or supporters of the station you're listening to. They're my views. And for the next hour, they're going to be the views of our good friend Charlotte Isabay. And you must understand there's a small group of people who want to certainly use the financial and military power of the United States to bring about a world government. And to do that, they had to gain control of our government. So they have put their people into the military and those who don't go along with it are shut out. We have been told that uh, within the last year or so, about 197 key people in the military have been thrown out of uh, entered their military careers. Why? Because they might question this move towards the dictatorship. Certainly these people own uh, the six major banks. They control up over 50 percent of our assets. They control most of the major corporations. Uh, they control certainly our educational system. Uh, they have their people planted within our religious ceremonies, uh, 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 seminaries. They can uh, bought the support of the people who control the executive, judicial, and uh, certainly uh, a legislative part of our government, and they control the six major corporations that control the media. But one of the key things is education, and with us, of course, is Charlotte Isabay, because her specialty is education. They want to control the minds of our children. Our children aren't liberal because they're young and idealistic. They're illiberal because they're programmed to believe certain fallacies when they're in school, and it takes them a long, long time to unlearn what they've been taught. Charlotte Isabay, you pick up the story because you're on the front lines of this battle for the minds and hearts and souls of our children. Charlotte All right. Isabay. Well, good evening, Dr. Stan and, and uh, your audience out there. It's been a while since I've talked to all of you. <clears throat> We're, um, we are really involved in a, a, a huge battle now. Uh, it's really between a rock and a hard place as far as education is concerned. And I'm going to speak about school choice this evening because uh, school choice, uh, the school choice that is being uh, proposed across the country, tax funded, and especially uh, charter schools, which are tax funded but do not have elected boards, this school choice has been in the works for many, many years. It's not traditional school choice where you pay tuition. This is school choice that was given to us by the left and now is being totally supported by the right. And uh, certainly I would say the Heritage Foundation mainly with all of its affiliates in every state. And uh, the purpose for that support, one has to understand why, uh, is that uh, the new, this new right wing that we have since 1980, we call the Trotskyites, uh, they, they have the same agenda at the top as the left. And I want to point out that the school choice proposals, the tax-supported school choice proposals, all of them, are supported by the Obama administration, Arn Duncan, the Council on Foreign Relations, uh, Louis Gerstner of IBM, who called on Obama to get rid of all 16,000 school districts, Heritage Foundation, and the neoconservatives, 100% uh, across the board. Now, you've got to ask yourself, what's to like about that? That really should be a red flag for Americans who are considering school choice and think this is the way to go. Now, I want to point out that you cannot have the planned economy, the change in our economic system, to a planned economy, collectivist, socialist economy, without school choice. Uh, in 1934, 
the Carnegie Corporation, which has been involved ever since 1934 in putting school choice in, uh, Carnegie Corporation called for, in its little blue book, conclusions and recommendations for the social studies. It called for using the schools to change America's capitalist economic system to a planned economy. In that little book, it also called for taking our land away from us. Now, what I'm saying probably comes as a bit of a shock to many people who are so, uh, you know, they're, they're just so upset, devastated, actually, in their families by the public school system that they will take anything, even poison. Now, basically, and, because you're talking about the charter school movement, yes, aren't you? Yes, uh, but okay. I'm talking also about private education, which is being taken over with tax money as well. Uh, our so-called conservative governor, LePage, here in Maine, is calling for changing our education code in the state of Maine to allow for tax funding of religious education and private education. Now, this is going on across the country, and one has to understand that in order for the global system to go in without a hitch, they're going to have to control all education because of the computer. Hmm? Now, that means that, that means right down to the, the little fellow sitting in the grass in Kenya in front of the green screen. That means all private education, of course, public education as well. The way they're really going to get public education is when they take away the elected school boards. That's what they're in the process of doing right now by putting charter schools in, charter schools taking over total districts. I mean, in L.A. and in Chicago, it, mostly inner city schools, these, these corporate Charter schools are coming in and taking over the public schools with their elected boards. And they have, to, they have to do that because the corporations cannot allow elected school boards to get in their way when they want to put in the school-to-work agenda, which, let's go back to 1934, was called for by the Carnegie Corporation in its little blue book. We will use the schools to change America from a capitalist economic system to a planned economy. Now, this has been going on for years. And then we had Reagan, who signed the agreements with Gorbachev in 1985, which merged the two systems. That was necessary. Then you had Carnegie at the same time signed the agreements with the Soviet Academy of Science in the area of computers and technology courseware development for early elementary school children in critical thinking, that was Carnegie. Then you had Carnegie again uh, in the 90s with Mark Tucker going into Rochester, New York, the National Alliance for Education and the Economy. So Carnegie, Carnegie, Carnegie. Now you've got to go back and recall that Norman Dodd was told in 1953 by the president, the chairman of the Ford Foundation, Rowan Gaither, that the foundations, of which Carnegie is one, very important in education, the foundations received their instructions from the White House to uh, use their money, their tax-exempt money, to change America so it could be comfortably merged with the Soviet Union. Let me just interrupt there for just a moment, Charlotte, because right. I interviewed Norman Dodd, and basically if any of you would like to see uh, certainly that, uh, that interview, why there you'll actually hear Norman Dodd telling me how suddenly the president of the Carnegie Foundation told him that they were operating under presidential directive to so alter life in America that one day we could be merged with the Soviet Union. And Norman Dodd said, well, will you tell the American people that? And the president of the Ford Foundation said, of course not. Of course not. Well, you can actually see that. It's a the desperate deception or dangerous deception. It's available by calling 1-800-544-8927. These people know exactly what they're doing. They want a fascist society. They've infiltrated all of the right-wing organizations, conservative, liberal, libertarian. And you better get involved, because if you don't, you'll have nobody to blame. We'll be back in just a moment with Charlotte Desabay. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, education is not our friend, but our enemy.
Well, Dr. Stan back here at the Genesis Communication Network. Understand, ladies and gentlemen, we have a small group of very wealthy people. And so they, a couple of generations ago, they were Henry Ford, the Ford Foundation, Andrew Carnegie, the Car- Carnegie Foundation, the Rockefellers. Of course, the Rockefellers are still here with us, but they're all dedicated to this idea of a world government under a ruling elite. And they're using the financial and military power of the United States to bring it about. But of course, you got to control the minds of our people. You can't let them think. You can't let them reason. You can't let them understand that government certainly is the enemy of freedom. You've got to limit the power of government of men to bear to be free. But that's not what they want. They don't want people to think. Isn't it wonderful? My goodness, look how great things are. Why here in America, why we have certainly 49% of the population, over 49% giving government uh, welfare of one sort or another, Social Security, Medicare, certainly housing alliances, free tuition. Uh, Certainly we've uh, certainly got all these wonderful, wonderful programs, uh, certainly the food stamp program. We've got almost 48 million Americans on food stamps. We don't have any people out there demanding food. The only trouble is... We don't have any money for it. We're having to borrow a trillion dollars a year to come up with this. And they're intensely going to bring the whole system down. And if you're not involved, then you'll have nobody to complain to. When freedom, as we know it, is replaced by a ruthless dictatorship. Because after all, certainly when you've destroyed the moral fabric of a society, you destroy a nation, you destroy our society. Our form of government was made for a moral and religious people. We are no longer a moral and religious people. We are in a post-Christian era here in America, and that's why it's so important, of course, you you get everybody to believe that the government can solve all of our problems. Ladies and gentlemen, the government can't solve our problems. The government is our problem, and Charlotte is a is on the front lines of this battle, trying to get people to understand what you're never going to hear mentioned elsewhere, and that is that there's an organized effort on the part of a great tax exam foundations to bring about a fascist America. Go right ahead, Charlotte. Yes, well, I we have just, we are closing down a, a lot of very hard work on a project that started in August of 2012 here in Maine, and then we had a conference on education. It was closed to the public, and we invited, oh, about 15 people came in from all over the country, including uh, wonderful your Mary Thompson, uh, who is from California and was very involved in the late 60s in education and has been involved for many years since. Uh, that conference was highly successful. It was videotaped, and we started working on our project to make these videotapes available to the American people in a little box. There are eight discs. Now there are eight because we added three more speakers in a second conference uh, recently in Georgia. But there are eight discs, uh, seven of which are uh, videotapes, and one is uh, a CD with extraordinary uh, presentations in text from people like Joe Hindman, who is no longer with us, very probably one of the finest researchers on regionalism back in the 50s and 60s who wrote for the Mercury magazine, uh, Maureen Heaton, etc. And we have also <clears throat> some people from around where you are, Stan, uh, who who uh, contributed excellent articles on UN Agenda 21. Uh, we have Michael Shaw. Uh, Rosa Corey was in here to speak, actually, last year. Rosa's presentation, uh, Kevin Eggers, and uh, Mary Thompson. There are four from California who are part of this project. Uh, it's, we call it uh, Take Back America, the Take Back America Toolkit. It's a toolkit which has the history of everything that has happened from the mouths of people, including public school teachers, who have been on the front lines ever since the 60s. Uh, These are recognized researchers. They are not affiliated in any way with Republican or Democratic parties or any of the organizations in this nation that are all controlled at the top. Uh, and have the same agenda. This is very sad, but this is the conclusion that we have come to. So it's actually a, a project that is winding down now. It will be available 
uh, in December uh, at Amazon.com, and people can go to the trailer for it. There's a trailer on the Internet. Just go to YouTube and type in the following words, exposing the global road to ruin through education. Uh, I want you to go there, look at the trailer, and be sure to scroll all the way down to the end because we've changed, uh, the trailer has changed a bit in that we have, instead of five discs, we now have eight. And the price is thirty nine ninety five, which is a real deal when you think that you've got eight discs there. It's a little ridiculous, $5 a disc. You've got about 15 or 16 hours of videotape presentations by the leading American researchers, education and political researchers, explaining to you what's going on with school choice, what's going on with school to work, what's going on with the horrible assessments now that, that are the use of your private, your child's private information in every area and your family's information is being given to the corporations to develop courseware to remediate your children on an individual basis to, and then they, they, they're selling, the corporations get it free, the information on your children. Then they re, do the remedial courseware to bring your child to the global citizen standard. And then they sell it back to the school district. So this is what we're, we're talking about, some very, very serious issues in this toolkit. But we're not just telling you bad news. We're telling you how we feel if all Americans get together, we stop fighting because those in power at the top love to have us all fighting. All Americans have, have the same things to lose. We have our Constitution to lose. We have our land to lose. We have our children's minds and religion to lose. We have lots of things to lose, and we have a lot in common. And we, we, we urge the American people to get together and stop fighting because that's what the elite at the top who want our children to spin off profits for themselves with the school-to-work agenda, which is the Soviet system. That's what they want, to keep us divided, divide and conquer. So this toolkit explains what you can do, how we can get rid of this monster uh, known as uh, the U.S. Department of Ed and our State Departments of Ed and Bill Gates and all the computers and the Heritage Foundation's agenda for school choice, which has nothing to do with true school choice. We tell you what our, our proposals are. So I plead with your listeners to get on board with this. Go to, you know, YouTube and type in uh, exposing... The Global Road to Ruin Through Education. And send this to all your friends. Now, this is so important because we are really getting down to the, the bottom line here. They're about to take us through the schools. And when I say that, they will do it through school choice with unelected boards. And once we accept unelected boards in education, that's the unraveling of our system. Hold, hold, hold of the fire poison. Well, Dr. Stan here at the Genesis Communication Network, our guest is Charlotte Isabay. Now, if you're out there in the listening audience, you have a question or comment, our telephone number is 1-877-254-7524 for this hour. 1-877-254-7524. And Charlotte, do you have certainly a, a telephone number or email where people can can get this a set of, of videos. Well, oh, yes, uh, they can email me at dumbdown00 at yahoo.com. And we're taking orders now in advance of the launching. The, the uh, videos will be launched in early December, but if people want to get in on it early, they can email me and uh, or they can just send a check, you know, for... $45 to uh, my uh, little company, 3D Research Company, and the address, make it out to 3D Research Company, and the address is 519 River Road, 
519 River Road, and that's in Dresden, like in Germany, like the same Dresden, D-R-E-S-D-E-N, Maine, 04342. And I'll make sure that they, you know, this is on first come, first serve, people who are doing advance orders. I was very excited. I got an order from Australia today for seven copies, seven sets. And this guy said that he'd sent, uh, you know, an email out to all the major journalists in Australia. And he's a very active guy. And, uh, out of the 12 that he sent to, he had two or, he, two of them wanted uh, this set of discs, which is very encouraging. Uh, can you imagine the media really wanting to, to get the history of what happened and how they plan on taking us down through school choice? Because uh, Australia has the charter schools all over. Uh, Russia has them, too. They're, it's the international school-to-work system through charter schools and with the no elected boards. They've got to get rid of uh, representation. This is taxation without representation that they're putting in. But in Australia, they're, they're a little bit ahead of us. England, too. It's the same agenda. It's school-to-work. It's the Soviet education system, and we have all the documents on that. We have documents out of the Department of Education that I pulled out uh, from 1959, after Eisenhower signed the first agreement with the Soviet Union. Uh, the Dep Office of Ed sent uh, ed American educators over to the Soviet Union to study their system, and we got, we got a hold of the report. And when I look at it, it's exactly what they're putting in here. No grades K through 12, no A, B, C, D, no competition, but absolutely no competition in the Soviet system. Uh, the Pavlov method, uh, workforce training, and Darwin. That is the Soviet system, and it's and, and an emphasis on math and science. Now, that is what is going in here, and people better wake up and stop supporting school choice. Because the school choice, I know it sounds, how can one possibly believe that this wonderful sounding thing is what is going to put the Soviet system in and take away our representative form of government by doing away with local school boards? It's hard to believe. I want to read something to you from, uh, you'll like this, Dr. Stan. It's a recent quote that I got, and it's, it's by a, Professor of New Testament in Westminster Theological Seminary in Philadelphia in 1933. And his name was Dr. J. Gresham Macon, M-A-C-H-E-N. And the lecture was given at the Educational Convention held in Chicago under the auspices of the National Union of Christian Schools. Now, he knew what school choice was all about. He knew you do not take a penny from any level of government, federal, state, or local. No tuition tax credits, no vouchers, no nothing. All of those, by the way, have been supported originally by the left. So here we go. Here is Professor Gresham Macon speaking about the dangers of tax-funded education. Quote, Every lover of human freedom ought to oppose with all his might the giving of federal aid to the schools of this country. For federal aid in the long run inevitably means federal control. And federal control means control by a centralized and irresponsible bureaucracy. And control by such a bureaucracy means the death of everything that might make this country great. Against this soul-killing collectivism in education, the Christian school, like the private school, stands as an emphatic protest. In doing so, it is no real enemy of the public schools. On the contrary, the only way in which a state-controlled school can be kept even relatively healthy is through the absolutely free possibility of competition by private schools and church schools. If it once becomes monopolistic, it is the most effective engine of tyranny 
an intellectual stagnation that has yet been devised, end quote. Now, that's what's going in across the country, and especially dangerous with the charter schools because of the no elected boards. And we're paying taxes to run a school system that doesn't even have an elected board. And I think it's so important when we see organizations like the Heritage Foundation, and most of what they say sounds so good, but oh, yeah. I understand somebody is funding them and there's a reason they're being funded. And basically what they say is, may sound good, but in the final analysis, well, anybody who's willing to go along with these government programs is not are the enemy, of, is not the friend of freedom. And until people understand that the subversive element is infiltrated, thoroughly mm -hmm. the conservative and Christian movement, until you understand understand that, why very little that's going on today will make sense. We know they control the left, but they also control the right. Go right ahead, Sean. Well, it's true, and when you think in terms of what Carol Quigley said in Tragedy and Hope, you know, he was Clinton's mentor at Georgetown, Carol Quigley's incredible history of the uh, 19th century. Uh, and in there, he said that the industrialists, you know, they met in the late 1800s, and they decided how they were going to get what they wanted. They, the same people, like Gates and Heritage and, and Rockefeller and Ford and the whole crowd, right? And Pearson and Murdoch, all of them, how they would get what they want. And that was simply, you know, through having the, the, the agenda at the top of the Republican and Democratic parties identical. And that is exactly what we're looking at. I mean, for people who, I feel sorry for a lot of your listeners and all, because I went through this, I was pretty slow in catching on. I mean, pretty slow. I have to admit it took me about 25 years. And then I really saw it when, they, when these very people boycotted everything I ever wrote. You know, the deliberate dumbing down of America was boycotted 100% by the so-called conservatives. My major little book, the 39-pager, Back to Basics Reform, or, a, or a Scenarian International Curriculum, boycotted. My little flyer, Soviets in the Classroom, America's Latest Education Fad, but Reagan signing the agreements with Gorbachev and the Carnegie thing, boycotted. And you'd think Charlotte would have figured it out by then. Well, I was, start, I was starting to. But uh, it took a while, and I must say, when I found out that the Heritage Foundation, Richard Allen, had drafted the North American Free Trade Agreement, which has destroyed all, most of America's good jobs, right? When I found that out, I started to, you know, I was thought, uh oh, what's going on here? So uh, basically, this these, this set of videotapes uh, explains all of this to the American people and and gives them hope. I mean, it sure is uh, David against Goliath. There's no question about that. But we have to take a stand, and we have a to-do list in there on how to get out from under this wretched uh, system that's being imposed on us. And we feel that mainly um, good Americans, they do not know what's happened. Okay, and we Charlotte, feel Charlotte, that by Charlotte, having... Charlotte, Charlotte, we're going to a break. Our guest is Charlotte Isabel. If you have a question, 800-259-5791. We'll be back in a moment with Charlotte. Well, Dr. Stan here at the Genesis Communication Network. Our guest is Charlotte Isabay, and if you're out there in the listening audience, you have a question for Charlotte, why it's one 877 254 one But they're using the educational system. Young people are not liberal because they're idealistic. They're liberal because they're indoctrinated. Our schools are not educating. They're indoctrinating our children. And we have to get this people to understand what's going on. And if you have your children and you love them, oh, no matter what sacrifice it takes, get them out of government schools, they're better off homeschooled with a program that you know is going to stress limiting the power of government and the importance of individual freedom. Otherwise, they're going to come out little global citizens hating God and, of course, certainly with no moral foundation and certainly uh, completely opposed to what America stands for, and that is a system with limited government so men could be free. Go right ahead, Charlotte. All right. 
Right. That's absolutely correct. And what you say about homeschooling is, is completely correct. I've been recommending that for many years. But the homeschoolers got to understand not to take a penny from any level of the tax tax as, as status, you know, not federal, not state, not local, uh, for for services or, or uh, sports or music or anything. Don't go near it. Because if you do, you're going to have to take the federal assessment, uh, which is the test. And that's 60% politically correct. Now, people may wonder, because everybody's been so involved in what they call the com- common core, and they're wondering why I'm not talking about it. Well, I'm not talking about it. I call it communist core anyway. But the reason I'm not talking about it is because everybody's been dissecting it for at least three years now, and which is fine. But, again, they're, they're, fall- they're going right into the trap. Uh, it's a diversion. Uh, Common Core has been with us for many years. It's just an, another new label, just like uh, Mastery Learning, the Skinner Method, was called Mastery Learning once. It was once called Direct Instruction. Then it was called Outcomes-Based Education. Then they went back to Direct Instruction. And that's all Skinner, but that's how they operate. So Common Core has been with us with the exception of we did not have the computers, uh, the schools all lined, you know, uh, hooked into computers. We didn't have computer assessment. And... Uh, uh, that that is what makes it so very very dangerous and i'm not saying it's not dangerous but what i'm saying is if you don't focus on school choice and charter schools and the unelected boards if you don't stop this charter school bandwagon you're going to end up with your with putting your child into your favorite charter school that sounds so good out there and your child's going to come home, and you're going to find out that the communist core is in that school. Because it has to be. Because charter schools are federally funded. And it will have to use the communist core. So what comes first? You've got to kill the dragon first. That's the Trojan horse. And they, like Heritage Foundation, will have everybody, this big bandwagon across the country, fighting Common core, keeping the parents, the good parents, occupied. And, of course, I can't say that it's wrong to be occupied with fighting Common Core, but, as I say, we've had it ever since 1965. Some of the the standards were worse when I was on a local school board than the ones you're dealing with now. It's a Marxist curriculum. It has been such since 1965. So you, yeah, that you can change it, I doubt it. But you can stop charter schools. You can stop the school choice bandwagon. You have to stop it. Now, I'm going to say something very, uh, very strange here. Uh, after having written the 750-page book, Deliberate Dumbing Down of America, obviously I have problems with the public school system. And I think I'm number one on that one in the whole country. But if it comes down to having to choose between charter schools and tax-funded school choice for Soviet workforce training under Bill Gates and Pearson and all the people who are involved uh, with this huge uh, governor, ex-governor Jeb Bush, who came into Maine and destroyed our system with his plans, if we have to make a decision between accepting that, which is the end of academics, the end of any free freedom for our children, the end of their souls, their, their thinking, creativity, as C.S. Lewis said, when training beats education, civilization dies. If that's the way we're going to go, I don't want any part of it. I would rather recommend that we opt for the present public school system, but I'm talking about the, the structure of it, not, not the rotten contents. We've got to stick with the elective boards uh, which, de- which determine what our children are going to learn and which should be responsible to you. If you go the other way, you will have nobody to complain to when you get this rotten curriculum that you definitely will get under Common Core if you don't stop the charter schools. But what we have to do now, this is David and Goliath, that's why we have this toolkit, you know, uh, you know exposing... Uh, the global road to ruin to education. That is why we did this project, to give people a toolkit to take back America. 
and how to do it, how to go to your elected officials, how to bring down the U.S. Department of Ed, bring down your State Department of Ed, return schools to the pre-1965 excellence. People are saying, oh, that'll never happen. Well, look, I'll tell you something. Better to work on something that's positive than to allow this lethal, toxic system to go in where you will have no say. That school choice, that's this form of school choice that is tax-supported. And I read to you that Christian educator's comments. We have many other comments. I mean, from the left, Bernard Shaw was the one who said that, he said, you know, if you take a penny, basically the same thing the Christian educator said. This is the surest way to destroy Christian education. Well, I'm, going to have to interrupt you. I'm going to have to interrupt you there because we're out of time, but I do hope I can get you on the other programs. So I want all of our audiences to hear what Charlotte Desabay is saying. Once again, get that uh, email address and telephone number out so people can order your material. All right, fine. Well, the email address, and they can go to my website, too, which is deliberatedumbingdown.com. And that's a free download, uh, 750 pages free for people. That's my original book, okay? My updated book is for sale at Amazon, the same title. My email is dumbdown00 at yahoo.com. And if you want the project or order this incredible 8-disc project, you would write a checkout to 3D Research Company for $45. That includes $5 shipping. And send that to 3D Research Company at 519 River Road, Dresden, Maine, 04342. And we've got a lot of wonderful Americans involved in this and many who are long gone, who've been fighting for, for many years. That's why we're still... They're a little late, by the way, folks. The people who want to bring us down are at least 10 to 20 years late. Okay, we're going to have to let you go. God, God bless you, Charlotte. Thanks for everything you do. Well, this is Dr. Stan, and certainly Charlotte is a bait. Listen to what she has to say. She's a dedicated patriot. She's been out a long time. And you can just see, certainly depend on what she's saying. We basically have a certain material to go to our website, RadioLiberty.com, and look at our four tape sets on the national educational programs. And on education, understand that they are destroying the mind and heart and soul of your children. You need to get my book, Brotherhood of Darkness, to understand the demonic nature of what we're up against. You need to get my talk, certainly, on the Agenda 21, the covert plan. We have a, a talk given uh, by Sidney of uh, Michael Shaw, who is actually one of the people that Charlotte has interviewed. He's on Agenda 20, which is called Agenda 21, The Wretching Transformation of America. It's very good. Agenda 21, The Wretching Transformation of America. You want to get my talk on Population Control, The Secret Agenda. Now, that'll give you enough to get started on. Go to our website, RadioLiberty.com. You can see a list of the books and the other items that we have. Certainly, you need to get the material we have. You have my permission to cop any, copy anything that we have made. Uh, that uh, we have made. And certainly, you need to get my book, Brotherhood of Darkness. If you're only going to get one thing, get the book. Then, secondly, get the talk, Agenda 21, The Covert Plan. Agenda 21, The Covert Plan. Again, the number 1-800-544-8927. one 800 And then, of course, we ask you, of course, to, if you're in a position to help financially, we have a, basically a network in the morning, afternoon, evening. We do five hours of talk radio a day. We need your help. So the, uh, the economy is bad. A lot of people just are not buying the way they did before. We need you to buy anything that you can possibly afford. And if you're in a position to contribute to Radio Liberty to help us so we can certainly reach out across America five hours a day, our number 1-800-544-8927. Please pray for America, but pray for Radio Liberty for our provision and protection. We'll be right back. <laughs> 